Hi guys, welcome back. As you've guessed from the title of this video, this is going to be a um, slightly different video to what I usually do, um, but I was going to go up to Snowdonia today and take you along, but I woke up early, it was about half five, and I just didn't fancy it. I just felt very unmotivated and despondent and I don't know really, I just didn't, I didn't want to go. I didn't find, I, I don't know what it was, I just didn't want to go. Um, and then I was like, well, maybe I should just stay at home today. Um, the weather's not great, <laughs> it's still just raining and cold. But then it popped into my head, ages ago I was told about this secret waterfall and um, I'm not really 100% sure on the location because the map and what it says on Google Maps and what I've been told is all different as to where it is. Um, it's quite remote. I don't know what kind of waterfall it is. I can't even find a picture of it online. Um, I've seen one girl on YouTube do a hike there, but then now I can't find the video. So I don't know if she deleted it or something. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to try and find this mysterious waterfall. Um, I've got the OS map, which is what I'm going to use to navigate. I'm going to use that and Strava and I'm not really going to listen to Google because I'm not, yeah, I'm not convinced that it is where it says it is on Google, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there what we find. Um, I have been to this valley before. It's quite an interesting place. It's quite strange. Um, and I've heard quite a lot of stories from people that have lived in the valley or just people that live in the area about it. And there's so many like, like rumours of things. But I grew up deep in the countryside, like on a hill um, in the middle of nowhere. And I know two things. And one is that people in the countryside love to make up very very weird strange or over dramatized stories and the second thing i know is a lot of weird things happen in the countryside that you think is a weird or strange story which is actually the truth so um we're gonna go anyway and try and find this waterfall i've been told apparently that um one of the rockefellers lives in this valley although i have no idea why they'd live in this valley in the middle of wales it seems strange I've never seen like a, a big house there or anything, but that is one of the things that everyone says, um, which I don't know if that's true. Uh, there's also a church there that I'm going to take you to visit. Um, it's my favourite church in the world. It's just beautiful. It's um, actually a site of pilgrimage for people all over the world to come and um, visit and pray and it's called Penant Melangell and it's um, Melangell was the patron saint of animals. Um, she came over from Ireland the story goes and fled to Wales. Um, I think she was escaping a marriage that she didn't want to be in and um, she was living in this valley in Wales and then um, a prince was hunting in the valley and the hare he was hunting hid behind her to get away from him and the dogs and um, he just thought she was beautiful and gave her the valley and so she lived there um, for the rest of her life just spending her time in nature with animals and there are a lot of animals in the valley I will say that like whenever I go there I always see um, a lot of birds and things like that so we'll see what we can see today um yeah a bit of a mystery tour mystery walk i don't know <laughs> what i'll call it um but yeah hopefully it should be fun so just a quick oh i'll spin this round shot of the os map just because I like doing shots of the os map at the beginning of a video because i think it really helps kind of know where you are and orientate yourself and also sometimes when I see people going places I'm like well where is it I don't know <laughs> um and it's really hard to gauge where people are uh so this is the valley here that we're going to come down and this is Penat Malangas which is a church 
So we're going to visit that and then walk up here and then go up here. And I think the waterfall will be one of these two. Google Maps says it's this here. And then I'm not sure if it is that or if that's going to be a tiny one or what. But I think it's going to be either one of these, the waterfall. Um, I've only ever heard of two people going there. Um, and one of them was my mum. So I rang her this morning and I asked her. And I was like, is there actually a waterfall in the valley is it worth going to like kind of what is it like it doesn't even seem to have a name and then there is one called i think it's pistish cablet which i think is this one but then there's no photos of any of this online at all so it's just really difficult to find and my mum was like well I'll take lots of photos then but anyway um but yes according to legend and my mother <laughs> This is an amazing place. Uh, she said it's absolutely amazing. She's wild camp there in the 90s. Um, and she said she swam somewhere around here. So we'll see what we can see today. I'm actually wearing my swimsuit. So maybe I'll get in. It is about eight degrees, but we'll see. I think this is the way, but my mum said to follow the river. So I'm going to give that a go first and um, if not, we'll come back here. So I did end up going through that gate, came back on myself and the path cuts through this field. Then you're looking for this. Just thought I'd mention, in case anyone ever wants to come up here, because not the easiest place to navigate to be honest um, and then you can go straight up onto the Bowens but we're going to follow this path here at least what I think is a path um, yeah. exciting mystery so I was actually just in somebody's garden this is really confusing, to be honest. <laughs> um, the map is not clear, even though we're at the OS map. Um, so I'm just going to head in the general direction. So I can kind of actually see the waterfall now in the distance, there, but I've literally got to go through all this gorse, this is not easy to get to at all. Well I found the waterfall, um, but yeah this is literally the path. It's just complete gorse and when I watched that video of that girl she said there's loads of ticks in the gorse and that, so I wore my big boots today um, just in case of ticks and literally the last half mile I've pulled four off me. It's disgusting and paranoid that they're everywhere. Um, so I think what well, I'm actually, I'm not going through that, like it's so steep so even though it's someone's garden or whatever. I think I'm going to cut down here and then maybe follow that over there because there is actually like a road on the other side going up like a proper road but it doesn't connect to like the public road um, like again it goes through someone's garden so I'm just going to go down there and uh, try and get up there to walk to the waterfall but it's turning out to be a right mission <laughs> I thought oh it's only a, like a mile or so there and back but yeah hopefully it'll be worth it and I think I might wild swim just to get the ticks off me Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm just going to go through the garden because uh, it's quite a mission today, I will say. I'm really glad that um, I found it and I got there and so I did think about turning back so I'm glad I didn't, um, definitely. There must be an easier way, I just feel like there must be but yes, we'll try and get back now um, and I'll show you the church uh, which is absolutely lovely. Um, Oh, I might insert those clips in the beginning. Not sure yet. This is so confusing. Like, everywhere just says, like, it's a private garden. So I don't understand. So I'm going to go into this field. Because it seems to be the only one that doesn't have that on it. And maybe follow that little path. But I can't really see where it leads. But honestly, this needs to be signposted. Some people. I feel like bloody, feel like Peter Pan in these boots today, Lord almighty. See that's up there is where I was before. We're not going back that way, no ticks for me. So this is where I've come to, so all the fields and there doesn't seem to be any signs. So maybe it is actually this way, uh, but who knows at this point. So I'm just heading back now, um, so it was just a bit weird, that wasn't the way you go. I ended up behind two big security gates with like, um, like codes and voice things, so you had to do something to get in, so I just jumped over them. So I'm back at the car now, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit different, little bit of an adventure, strange adventure, um, but yes, <laughs> nothing else really to say, it was just a bit odd, uh, I don't know what it'll turn out like um, in the edit, uh, I was feeling quite down by the end of that walk and just not great. Um, but it was really nice to go in the church at the end and I lit a candle um, and had a little pray and I just feel loads better now. Um, I just said thank you for all the things I have in my life and all the blessings. But yeah, so happy to go home now uh, in a really good mood. So um, yes, if you've watched this far, well done. <laughs> through. <laughs> through god knows what <laughs> um and yeah have a lovely day and i'm gonna try and upload every i want to do it every week but i don't know what day to do so if you know or think there's like a good day put it in the um the chat or the comments because i was starting off doing them on wednesday but then sometimes if i've 
really busy with work it's difficult to get one out so then I was like Sunday but I just don't know I don't know who knows